New York City, how you doing? Come on, you gotta do better than that. I said New York City, how are you doing? Before I will start this tonight, I will not start the show without saying I just want to thank God for having you guys come here tonight. I always want to thank God because if I keep, if I keep doing that until I die, I will go to heaven. Well, since we got that out of the way, how you doing, New York, New, New Yorkers? <laughs> Long time no see. And I know you've been asking, Bubba, why are you filming your new special in New York City? Well, because I, I love I love you guys. Because if you love me, I love you. That's how it is. It's a little motion. It's a Bubba relationship. And let me tell you something right now. Just a little side note. It's not going to be the same as the last special. This is going to be pretty different. All right? <laughs> In other words, there'll be a little bit of cussing a little bit. But, 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 what should I do? As a Christian comedian, I don't cuss, I don't say bad words. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make up curse words, all right? Because I wanna say some Christian cuss words, some Christian, uh, bad, Christian made up words. Is that okay with you, New Yorkers? Is that okay? Yeah, let's rock this mother chicken. All right. Man, I've been, I've been, been doing a great job. I've been doing my job for six years now, being a YouTuber. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and let me tell you, so right now, I'm not really, I'm not, I'm not interested at in watching TV or, or being uh, TV appearances because there's a commercial break and stuff like that. Yeah, I love watching shows that is pretty, pretty interests me. Like I was watching Seinfeld. Come on, people. Come on, New York. You know what I'm talking about. Man. Every mother sticking episode that we saw on Cypher, it's a show about nothing. That's all it's. And there was a one episode from the Seinfeld, I think it was the final episode, is where these four friends are trying to go to uh, Paris for their, for the pilot, what I remember. And they saw this uh, fat dude who's trying to, who's, who's getting arrested. And they're laughing, and one of them was filming. I'm not making this up. If, if you don't believe me, watch the darn episode. <laughs> and I feel bad for the fat guy. I feel, I, I'm, I'm really sorry if I call this guy fat. I'm really sorry. It's my fault by calling him saying that. But I do feel bad for that guy. But luckily his four friends gone in jail. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, man. Luckily, I don't have that because because they think I'm a big guy. I'm a nice guy. If that happens to me, I would rather just uh, I would rather just walk up to them, grab my belt, and whoop their butts. You know. And there is another show on MTV called Ridiculousness. Ridiculousness. Oh boy, how can I explain this? Uh, there is this uh, one um, co-host, which I can't really stand, by the name of Channel S Ghost, who has that the ugly look with noodle hair and laughs like Chuck Mount Elvis. <laughs> I was thinking to myself, if my mom replaced her, She'll be the best darn cause you will ever see. Woo! If Channel West Coast finds out in the next season in the future, I bet she'll be ashamed of me. Look at that jolly beast. Mother! You have no rights to replace me! Calm down now, calm down. But just just take your chill. Take your take your chill, man. Wow, six years. Uh, the last Ben show I was, uh, that was the last time I think I keep keep hating on teenagers, all that. So this is my last time uh, hating on them. Reason why, because I want to be a good person and I have to let it go. Let's talk about how different, how differences between now and back in the day. 
Let's talk about uh, their walking. You know why? If the, when they walk, they walk different. This is now and day kids when they walk. They, they either, even a new generation kids gonna walk like this. And the old generation back in the day going to walk like this. Joey, how are you? How about the dancing? The dancing is one of them. Now when they dance, they have to go dance like this. This is olden days, all right? Nowadays it's like this. What? It's a, they call it a dab, I can't do that anymore. I'm, I, I'm getting all of it. It's in my opinion, I'm not the judge, got it. How about their greeting too? You ever seen someone, hey, what's up, man, what's up? Man. That's the nowadays. All the days are like this. Hi, how, hello, how are you? Have to do this video game, walk like this. <laughs> they, do this they do like this. Hi, Tom, how are the kids? <laughs> I do kung fu like this. <laughs> Don't you see? Oh man. Um, I'm want to. I also want to talk about um, Nerf guns. Nothing dangerous. Nothing dangerous. Because me and my dad, uh, my cousins, and I were doing a Nerf war, Nerf, Nerf gun war. Oh my gosh! And you know what's the number one? What my dad says? Not in the face, guys! Not in the face! What's the first round we get? We right in the face! <laughs> Son of a biscuit! You will never hit someone with a Nerf gun right in the face. Next time you go to the friend's house, don't do that. Don't do it. Your friend will, will blame on you. You might cause more trouble. He goes, hey, go ahead, go ahead, hit me. <laughs> you missed, Joey? Joey? Joey! Oh. My eye! Uh, but we're okay. We're okay, though. <laughs> we didn't get hurt. Except my mom, though. But, but she's okay. <sighs> my summer plans is to lose weight, impress the ladies. <laughs> um, I went to uh, Venice Beach, which is pretty nice. Um, I don't like a Venice Beach bed. I don't like a Venice Beach because there's like so many people with tattoos in their bodies. And tattoos are okay, they're all right, they're cool, but not all over the darn stupid body, you know what I mean? I know you may be thinking, okay, is Bubba, does Bubba hate tattoos or not? Because if I have a tattoo, I don't give a darn, you know? Because tattoos are pretty cool, you know, trying to smooth it out just to think of something. And for the truth, I do like tattoos, but not over the body, not over the body. Every time I see, see someone with so many tattoos, I'm like this. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. I'm gonna pretend I'm Superman. I like Long Beach better, Long Beach. Uh, we have the Filipino festival. We went, we go to the Filipino festival a month ago and we see uh, Ruby and Bara. God bless her. She's a Filipino uh, rapper. Might as well go check her out. She's fabulous. She is a genius. <laughs> so uh, when when, uh, when Ruby and Bauer goes up on stage, everybody, I mean, I meant everybody, go run up to the stage to go see her with their hands. So the, whenever when you go to a concert, they, they see the fans, they high five each other. That's the same fans that I'm talking about. You know how crazy people are, you mean? These people are standing each other like looking like a bag of skittles. You know what I mean? But overall, it was okay. It was good. It was really fantastic. You know? I mean, I, I mean, 
I, I like Rimmy Bauer. I mean, she's she's a really good rapper. You might as well go check her out. Another rap, another music music uh, uh, like it's Michael Jackson has already been known, and Elvis Presley and Chris Tumblin. That's a name, but a few. I got water there because I need to lose that weight because I kind of look fat. That's why I love losing weight because there's like so many people who try to lose that weight. You know what I mean? You see, you see these people trying to jog like this. You see, you see kids on swings. Wee! You know. I was holding a water bottle. It was black and blue, and I was swinging it like this. I went to the sand area there. I I pour it and I draw number two. What? <laughs> what the heck is that? But but what were you doing? I don't know, I'm just being, being like a doofus. <laughs> so I draw number two. I feel I feel fantastic. I feel like a dork just looking at it like oh, okay number two. Number two! All right, my favorite number, number two! Number two! Number three. <laughs> so I was walking one day, and I was doing my thing, listening to K-Wave, Pastor's Perspective. I was walking and talking at the same time, as soon as I look ahead, and I see something. But I can't really see it so well because I didn't have my glasses on. And I'm gonna get a little closer. Uh oh. I see some kids. But it's like three of them. Two girls and one girl. No, wait, wait, wait. Two boys, one girl. There we go. And the girl was hitting uh, these boys with the Nerf, with the, not Nerf gun. Come on, really? I was, she was hitting with a notebook. Hitting is like That's what you get, Jack. That's what you get too, Ted. Hey Antonio, look back. It's like a little Jackie Chan movie over here, huh? So I was uh, I was uh, watching it. And I can't wait for these. I can't wait for that one girl to try to hit that hit one of the guys in the butt. Bang! Maybe not. Maybe not. And I was like, Hey, hey, kids, hey, hey, don't you do that, or else I'll tell your parents I'll do it. I'll tell your parents. I swear. So sit your bottom, or else I'll tell. As soon like like uh, five minutes later. As soon as I was uh, about to walk away, I look, his, his friend, the boy's friend left, and there's only two left. I was like, there was a boy and girl walking together. I was like, ah, shoot. They're both brother and sister. Oh, thank you. God bless New York, New York City. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. <laughs>